Tennessee's men are dancing in Detroit hoping for another win. Local 3's Ben Bobick is with the team and has more than 16 sweet reasons to watch our reports. Coverage on Local 3 brought to you by Warren and Griffin, your local five-star law firm. Don't you love it when someone takes a passion of theirs, an idea of theirs, and turns it into a business and you think, how did we ever live without this? Well, that's what our next guest and her husband, I think anyway, have done. Chris Angston has Oak Leaf Cottage in Trenton, Georgia. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's a beautiful wedding venue, but the truth is you and your husband came to our mountains mm -hmm. from Florida okay. because you were tired of hurricanes. Yes. <laughs> you wanted a little bit of elevation, but you've always been environmentally aware yes. people. So you found this beautiful spot in Trenton and you used it to let other people come mm -hmm. and kind of vacation there. You had a, an Airbnb. Initially. Initially. Yes. Yes. And then you noticed something and you thought this is crazy. What did you notice yes. with the Airbnb? So with the Airbnb, we typically just sorted through people's trash afterward. Like we thought, you know, we know that people are not going to sort on vacation and so we tried having bins out that didn't work and so i just said that's fine we'll just sort through it and so that's what we did and then when we started doing weddings we thought the same thing and we realized we needed to be sorting everything then too so that's the thing i mean i kind of forgot to tell you this very important part if this is a wedding venue yeah. so if you an intimate wedding venue so if you are planning a wedding even this year you have some spaces mm -hmm. certainly next year in 2025 you're booking out what she has done, and if you're in the throes of planning it, you're going to love the idea of this. You are kind of a one-stop shop, mm -hmm. and everything you do has this environmentally conscious mindset to it, right? Yes. There's no waste. Right, right. We work really hard to make sure that there is as little waste as possible. We include all of the plates and glassware. We sort all of the trash from it, so all of the aluminum, the plastics, uh, the food waste goes to New Terra Compost, and then of course we are also uh, we're certified through Green Spaces here in Chattanooga, and so that that ha encouraged us to go ahead and have things like low wattage light bulbs, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. low flow toilets and shower heads and all of that as well. So, so if you're sitting here thinking, yeah, but how much really could one wedding create? I was shocked when you yes. told me the story of the wedding for 60 people. Mm -hmm. What happened with that? So that was one of our early weddings. It was like four or five weddings in, and it had two truckloads of garbage. And this is before we included all the plates and glassware. Like we were still newbies. We still thought, you know, we can just keep sorting everything and it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure anybody who's in the wedding industry is laughing right now <laughs> um, because weddings produce on average 400 pounds of garbage. Wow. And so anyway, we're sorting through it. I sorted through the trash. My husband sorted through the trash. We both sorted through the trash. We were like, you gotta be kidding. It's two truckloads from 60 people. How is this even possible? And so we couldn't sleep that night. We were like, what do we do? Like this, how do you have this beautiful, you know, beautiful forest, incredible environment, and then you are contributing to trash elsewhere in, at that degree. And so we just said, we cannot do this. And we said, okay, we've got to find another way. And so I said, okay, a lot of it was plates and glassware stuff. A lot of weddings use plastic mm -hmm. plates and cutlery and cups and all of that. And so we said, none of that. And so that got rid of a lot of it. And I think what happens too, having recently had a wedding myself and my family, is that you, you think about all of the other details and mm -hmm. then you begin to realize, oh wait, what are we going to serve the food on? Mm -hmm. And your budget's kind of spent at that point. Yeah. And you think, oh, I don't have the money left to go get beautiful china mm -hmm. for 115 people. Right. You've already done the thinking. Yes. And yes. you have a variety. You said Thank you really, because you're an interior decorator by mm -hmm. trade. Yes. So you offer your clients an assortment of options. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I've sorted, I have thrifted and hunted. Um, I have four different choices for plateware. I have tons of different choices for the color glassware, all kinds of stuff. I mean, and then there's different kinds of flatware. Like we've got options so that the tables never look the same. That was one of the things I didn't want right. is for things to ever look stale. Mm -hmm. And I see that our couple get really excited about the colors of the, of the plateware and everything that we've got. And right. so that kind of 
it feels good. It seems like too, I know you've been in business for six and a half years, but you, so you weathered the COVID storm. We did. Um, and that seemed to change things for an awful lot of people. And so this idea of a more intimate mm. wedding has really taken on, yeah. but it's hard to have that if the space is huge. Right. You've designed yours and you literally designed yours mm. uh, to be cozy. Yes. Well, the spaces were there. So both the, the cottage and the barn were both there. And so we didn't expand either one. And so, yes, we do. We comfortably seat 115 inside that barn. If it does, if the weather is at all inclement or anything mm -hmm. like that, that is our rain plan. Um, but some people choose to be inside. It's, it's white painted. It's more of a, we didn't want it to look rustic. And right. so we've kind of worked around not making it look so rustic so that mm -hmm. it's a little bit more light and bright. In terms of people coming to you, um, if they want to book, mm -hmm. do they go online? Or do they call you to schedule a time to come out and meet with you? How do you do it? They can go online and we've got like a, a quick little form on our website or they can email or they can call. Um, I don't tend to answer the phone as often as I should just because None I get a lot of spam do. calls. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, emailing is probably the best way. <laughs> so. do you, and you have a staff of five. Right? There's at least five on wedding day on that wedding are running day. around, yeah, sorting all of the plates and glassware, sorting, you know, like, because we're washing all of it, too, and then they're sorting the recycling and, um, you know, scraping plates and stuff like that so the food waste can go to Nutera. Well, I am so glad that Our Mountains called to you Thank and you. that you were here. And the fall, as you can well imagine, with her beautiful uh, view there mm. in Trenton, is a busy, busy time. So if Thanks. you're planning a wedding for the fall of 2025 especially, mm -hmm. get in now. Yes. Uh, but there are still some openings for the remainder of this year. Not many. Right? But yeah. not many. She's <laughs> trying to be gracious. Yeah. So there's the um, website, oakleafcottage.com. Uh, all the images that you saw of the beautiful venue, she and her husband kind of put their own spin on it mm -hmm. to create. So think of what she can then create for you on your wedding day. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. At 58 Foundations and Waterproofing, we know sooner is better when it comes to repairing your foundation, basement, or crawl space. So we're making it easier on you with 12 months, no interest, no payments financing, plus our money back guarantee. 58 Foundations and Waterproofing. Schedule your free inspection today. He was too drunk to notice that the traffic had stopped and all of a sudden his SUV was in my trunk and I was off to the hospital.